today is an exciting day because we're getting the Drifter Boy delivered. There's lots of people around today. I don't think they've all come for the Drifter Boy, but I'm happy they'll get to see that we get a special package delivered anyway. Uh, it's just amazing to see the, today is Tuesday, I think, and it's full of people. So we're at our beautiful boat, but for me, the boat is not only beautiful because of its cool design and how it was built, it's also beautiful because of its branding. And when we um, hoist our sails, we have this wheel that is all over the boat, that wheel. It represents the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals that were established in 2015 by all members of the United Nations. And there's 17 goals, and we particularly re can relate to two goals. SDG number 13, which is climate action, and SDG number 14, which is life on the water. So everything we do in our Race Me Must Win Climate Action Now mission is connected to that. Hey Sébastien, Météo France. Uh, nice to meet you. I, I bring you a uh, weather, weather boy. Yes. Uh, Drifter. Drifter. Boris uh, has already deployed some like yes, that. Yes, we've deployed a few. And he's installed many of those <laughs> on the boat. <laughs> Scotch tape is biodegradable, yeah. take off the cardboard if you want for photos. Yeah. Uh, don't That's grab it. it by the white antenna at the top. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes. Please, <laughs> please do not. Please. <laughs> please do not hold it like that. Yeah, uh, it, it can break. And, yeah. Then I, <laughs> yeah, and then I wrote film the deployment and smile for the camera. Where are you gonna put weeks. where do you put it in the on the uh, boat usually? Port side in the aft cabin. Ah okay, right so it's ah uh, yeah, but it's, it's in the aft cabin. Maybe. Whoop. <laughs> okay. The Drifter Boy is actually super important for weather forecasting because it's one of the like one of the only ways to measure atmospheric pressure. You can't do that with models or trying to predict it. You have to measure it in situ, so um, in the field basically. And it also measures uh, sea surface um, temperature as well as surface currents. And there's about currently 1,300, I think, drifter boys in the ocean, which might seem like a big number, but actually it isn't. And there's still huge areas where there's no buoy and where there's no data being collected. So it's very valuable that Boris and other skippers during these races deploy those buoys. As a militia, we've been deploying scientific instruments for a while, and this is not the first time Boris will deploy a drifter boy. He's done that in, with Will Harris in uh, 2019 in the Transat Jacques Vabre. During the ocean race, we deployed two also in Lake 3 in the Southern Ocean. Uh, and then again in the last Transat Jacques Vabre yep. and in the Transat C uh, CIC. Yes. And so, I don't know how many boys that is in the end, but uh, <laughs> they're very, very valuable. And on top of that, of course, we also have the ocean pack, which we had on board our previous boat and now this boat, so since yeah. 2018. And uh, not only during races, but also every training, yeah, every trainings, delivery. Yeah, you've we been always making care, it's, uh, making yeah. sure it's we running. Run it as much as we can, yeah. Yeah, collect as much data. Yeah. Whether it's useful data, the scientists can determine that. Yeah. So we're going to crawl in around the side of the boat, behind Boris's bunk, and then um, up the outside of the uh, tunnel there, so we can see the ocean pack. So come on in. It's a, it's a bit of a climb and a crawl and a scrape through. Hope you like um, potholing slash caving. Uh, so this is the ocean pack or the science machine that we carry uh, to measure salinity, temperatures, etc. for the scientists. So this will run um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, yeah, collect, just sample uh, continuously for the scientists. And then Boris can also see what's happening on the other side, beside the, his uh, nav seat, he has a screen, and you can see all the, all the numbers and the data and temperatures and everything that, this, uh, that the ocean pack provides. For us, even though we're a race boat and uh, we're here to win races, um, we still need to collect samples and uh, information and data for the scientists because it is important for us as sailors and uh, ocean users to, to make sure the oceans are in good condition. Um, it means a lot to all of us. And we, not, we're not having a collision. They're testing some of the uh, alarms and sensors on the boat, so don't panic. We're, the boat's tied to the dock and as far as I understand, there's nothing coming towards us. <laughs> good morning. Today is a beautiful, slightly chilly day. 
and we are going to the media center and there's a briefing with all the different scientists that are involved in the science on board program to explain to skippers or team members what this is all about and why those drifters and argo flows are super important and yeah that's where we're going right this is the media center Alors ce qu'on a choisi avec la direction de la course, c'est nous de suivre la course et on va donner en fait le feu vert un jour, le chien, on va appeler ça l'Arco Day, on va communiquer à la direction de la course euh, le feu vert pour vous pour déployer des instruments. Il va y avoir un impact aussi sur toute la communauté euh, maritime et, euh, et d'une façon générale sur, sur tout le bloc puisque euh, l'amélioration de la connaissance de l'état de l'atmosphère à un endroit va avoir forcément un impact sur la prévision du temps à quelques jours sur un autre. Et puis la connaissance de la température de surface de la mer va permettre également sur des grandes séries de données de faire un suivi de changement climatique. Donc euh, voilà, n'hésitez pas. Photo ou vidéo aussi pour, ouais. euh, pour le déploiement. Et bon, les flotteurs à sont déjà dédicacés pour la plupart. Donc vous pouvez rajouter un petit mot aussi. Et pareil pour les bruits météo, n'hésitez pas à faire un petit dessin. Euh, I'll give you a pour personaliser. Yeah, so leaving the meeting. No, no, it's That would have been a fail. <laughs> yeah, didn't. So we briefed. We have our position where to deploy the buoy, which is at... Tw Should I say it? No, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> yeah, you'll have, to, you'll have to follow the race and be surprised. Um, let's just say it's going to be between the Canaries and Cape Verde that Boris is going to deploy uh, the Drifter Boy. Well, it's pretty cool because this time you have 25 skippers taking 36 different instruments, 36 instruments on board. So it's from the ocean pack to the Argo flow to Drifter Boy to this um, kind of sun photometer. Uh, so also new instruments and um, it's pretty cool. In case it wasn't clear by now, our Race Swimmers to Win Climate Action Now mission is as important as performing well on the water. We built a new boat, it's super high tech, we trained a lot to be ready for this race, but this science mission, this raising aware mission are super important to us as well. So stay tuned because during the race you'll get lots of onboard videos from Boris, but not only. We have many science topics around the ocean, around climate, around mangroves that will come your way in videos, articles, social media posts, and it's quite exciting.